Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are finally taking a look at the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Zemnu, which is a character I know virtually nothing about, almost nothing, but it's one of my favorite releases from Hasbro for a while. Uh, technically, it's not a release, obviously, because it's a bath, but still, it came from them, and they did a pretty darn good job. There's a lot of stuff to talk about, despite his relatively simple appearance. So let's go ahead and get him off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about 22 centimeters, which makes him pretty close to, well, let's just say eight and three quarter inches. He has some decent size to him. If you wanna see what he looks like up against, let's say, oops, let's say Iron Man. Let's go ahead and do Iron Man, cause I'm gonna be reviewing him next. There you go, he's a lot bigger. He's got some size to him. He's not big for a Build-A-Figure, but he's big for a modern Build-A-Figure, which is kind of a shame, but either way, he looks pretty good. Okay, so before we get into the rest of the review, let's do a question of the day. Simple question, prior to this release, were you familiar with the character? I was not. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the aesthetic on this guy. Firstly, I like the proportioning. I think they nailed it. I did look up some images of the character. I think it's a pretty good take on it. Uh, it's a very appealing design just from a figure perspective. They did a good job getting the shoulders wider than the hips. Proportioning on the arms and legs are appropriately um, ape-like, I guess you could say. Uh, very, very appealing. It's not something we typically see from Hasbro when where the proportions are in and of themselves a good thing, and this is the case here. It's basically molded in solid white plastic, varying plastics. We have uh, ABS here, PVC basically everywhere else, ABS here. Uh, you do get a little bit of the sheen from the ABS on the hips. The torso, they did a pretty good job with though, that's good. And then the PVC is a nice matte finish. It's all close enough that I don't have any complaints with that. I think they did a decent job with the shading. It's not exactly purposeful shading, as you can see on the shin shins plural it's just a blue line down the middle but it's very subtle same thing around here it's not like like they put dark blue i mean the shading is darker than the white so they put the darker blue shading on the chest like right on the top which doesn't really make sense but still it's subtle enough that it just gives the guy a little bit of contrast and it looks nice so i'll take it same thing for the face they just put some right on the front of the face hopefully that's going to show up for you guys it's not the best way to do shading but it's subtle enough that it looks good in my opinion they did do some gray shading around the eyes and the red eyes behind there are a separate piece of plastic and they look really nice the molded helmet is silver molded plastic looks good this is molded plastic as well it's such a big front and center piece i think some paint would have helped a lot but it's okay so ultimately it's a good looking figure i want to point out the little details on his hand right there that sold me on this figure they did a really good job relatively speaking on those little details and I'm, I'm very happy about that. So aesthetically speaking, this guy's gonna get an eight out of 10. Could have been a lot higher if the shading was at least purposeful. Uh, I don't like that there's just dark spots on the front of his chest where there would be no low lights. It just doesn't make sense that way. But it still does look pretty darn good. And I do like the fur sculpt all the way around and good proportioning. As far as accessories go, we don't have any. Uh, zero out of 10. Now, as far as the articulation goes, there's actually a little bit to talk about. Uh, the first thing being the head. The head situation is very strange. Why is this casting a shadow? I don't like that. Okay, so the head situation is very strange in that they gave us a socket down there in the bottom of the neck, then they gave us the big peg right here on the bottom of the head. And that would be fine, except for the fact that the neck is connected to the head. Now, it looks like it would be a ball hinge that is free rotating, but mine is stuck completely. And then if you peel it back, you can see it actually doesn't rotate. Or at least it looks like it doesn't, and I can't get mine to do it. If you guys can get yours to rotate, let me know, but mine won't do it. But that joint needs to be able to rotate. Having the rotation down here makes for a problem. Watch what happens once we peg it in. You peg it in, as soon as you rotate it, it pops out. That's not what you wanna have happen. It needs to rotate at the top, up on the top of that ball that's in there. You can see the ball, which I showed you already. If it rotated at the top, you could rotate his head around, but you can't. So, like you get a little tiny bit of range before it removes itself but that's about it it doesn't lean be like this hinge serves no purpose because of the way it's done there's just no point for that joint they might as well have just made it all one piece it doesn't work for the shoulders full rotation hinge works just fine better than horizontal bicep swivel is fine they are pretty gappy biceps on this side it's not too bad on this side it's pretty noticeable you can just see that flat shelf in there where the two pieces meet so that's a bit of a bummer but it is functional single jointed elbow 
little shy of 90. I guess that's good enough. They could definitely have squeaked out a little bit more with the fur sculpt, I think, but they didn't. Wrists have a swivel and a hinge. Same thing on both sides, even though one's a fist. And now we do have a, an ab crunch in here. It's hidden by the belt. It doesn't go back all that far, and it has a giant gap in it. Don't know what's up with that. And leaning forward does work a little bit. That giant belt gets in the way, of course, but he can lean forward. It does have a waist twist under the belt. Can we take the belt off? There's clearly a seam here. Can we do it without ruining it? It doesn't feel like it. Doesn't feel like it. So I don't think so. I think the belt is meant to stay on, which is kind of a shame. But you do get the rotation in the waist, and it works just fine. He has a little bit of a skirt piece on top of his crotch, which is good because it allows the legs to move up and flex just a little bit. Still not the best range in the world, but they do go forward. They go back a tiny bit. Going out to the side works surprisingly well. It's one of the better hip setups for going out to the side. So if you want to put him in some nice kick poses, he can do it, surprisingly. All right, so that's pretty nice. You do get your thigh swivel in there. It's pretty loose. His hips are quite loose. He's very jiggly down here. And that's kind of a bummer for a bigger figure because he gets heavy, or he is heavy, and he will get wobbly. So be careful with your posing if you're going to put him on a high shelf. Double jointed knees do work nicely. Not the best range in the world, a little bit better than 90, but for a big guy, that's good enough. The ankles now, just like before, it looks like you would have ball hinges in there, but you don't. These ankles actually have almost no range going back, just a little bit of a range going forward. And then the ankle sw rocker, the swivel, is basically worthless. You get almost... Almost nothing. I mean, it's a little bit. It'll be helpful to a degree, but a very tiny degree, like five degrees. So his articulation is not all that good, generally. It's not terrible. It'll probably do for someone like Zemnu, but um, it's, not, it's not good by any means. So I'll give the articulation a six out of ten. The head sucks. The ankles suck. There's just not a whole lot going on there. The diaphragm or the ab crunch isn't great. It'll get, it'll get you through, but it's not particularly good. Okay, time for the final verdict on this guy. I personally really enjoy the figure just because he's a big woolly guy and it's really well proportioned and I don't think we get enough of good heroic type superhero comic book villain, whatever you want to des describe it, comic book proportions. We don't see that very often. Uh, and this guy does have that. I appreciate that a ton. So I love it. But objectively, it does have some flaws, a fair few. And so I'm going to give it a final verdict of 7 out of 10. The articulation hurts it too much. The ankles are way too limited. The head can't move well enough. And then the shading being not well dispersed, though I personally enjoy it better than none, it's still not well done. So I can't go higher than 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you thought about the figure. Let me know what you thought about the review. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.